Hey guys, Ru here with Naravid for Blender. Just want to show you a few tricks with inset and outset in Blender. Just quickly before we start, guys, if you would like to improve your skills in hard surface modeling or in Blender in general, then consider joining our Patreon where we have tons of educational materials, courses, critiques, you know, decal packs, etc. There's a fantastic course coming to February. Uh, for add-ons and vanilla, we're gonna have some cool spaceship with sub demodeling and bullions and also some Unreal Engine stuff. So check us out, link in the video description. Thanks. Using different tools, okay? So we're gonna start with vanilla. Now the most basic operation would be um, just insetting. So select a face, press I, and you can inset it, okay? And then you can, for example, press E to extrude it up or down, right? If you want to insert more than one face, you select both faces, press I, and you can, you know, insert them as well. You can extrude them too, but you'll be, um, you know, you'll see that you're going to be extruding them in a very specific way. And the reason why these edges here or faces are slanted is because the extrusion happens along the uh, median point of these faces. So kind of, you know, Blender averages the 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 sort of like a origin point in between them and that's what happens here but you can straighten up really easily with for example you know stuff like machine tools uh select these two verts this one alt a left and you're done right another way of doing this would be to use a macro so with hard up so insert these two faces then q and alt click EM macro and you know bob john call right so that's another way of doing it let's grab another cube and let's uh, look at another tool which is outset so let's say that I wanted to, you know, um, create another edge outside this uh, selection. Now I'm gonna press O, and you see that this face is gonna get outset now. So I'm gonna get a line in here. So um, you know, it's kind of like a um, like an edge loop running outside this. So you simply press again. You press I, and then you press O. And you can see that, you know, this outset is happening. You can do it on multiple faces as well. So if I select these two faces and press I-O, you will see that I'm gonna have two of these edges, right? It's kind of handy when you wanna, for example, you know, um, subdivide it, right? Not sharpen, uh, shade smooth, there you go. Um, so that's that. Now, another way of insetting and outsetting stuff would be by using hard ops and box cutter which is you know the easiest way to do it uh, so let's say you, you know wanted to create an um an inset in here i'm gonna turn my box cutter and simply drag a, a rectangular cut press x three times on the keyboard and then press t for solidification i can adjust it if i wanted to switch it to outset i'm gonna shift click on it and then i'm going to go to q and shift pull and you see that it will switch to outset so now i can press t and change the outset thickness if i wanted this to stick up upwards i'm gonna just simply move the cutter you see so that's how it works right and this is the easiest way to you know uh, achieve outset and inset in, in in blender i think on yesterday's video, uh, one of the viewers called Berka76 gave me a really cool uh, tip on one operation and I just wanted to show you guys because it's really awesome. And I, I wasn't aware of this, so uh, let me show you. Um, the situation was that I was creating a cap for a, um, for a cable and uh, I had a loop in here and it was beveled. So, I mean, sorry, uh, yeah, well, I yeah, beveled control B, so kind of like you know, split. And I wanted to insert it inside, right? And I said that you could do this with EM macro by alt clicking, so the hard ups tool, or simply pressing E, canceling with right mouse button alt S and moving your mouse downwards. But another way of doing this would be by using inset. So you press I, you hold control, and you move it in or out. And this is just a you know, really cool way of doing it. So um, there you go. The reason why I think using hard up is a little bit easier is because um, I key is a little bit far from the you know Alt Control area on the left side of the keyboard, and the whole point of hard ups uh, is to you know make your life a little bit easier. So when you press Q and simply Alt E and Macro, it's so quick because you don't have to move your hand much and be you know trust me that when you perform a lot of uh, tasks like this and you model something that takes you know tens of hours 
all these small shortcuts they actually uh, accumulate to quite a lot of time saved so by the way this uh, you know it's a really cool trick uh, by simply you know going to i control hold control and move your mouse in and out that's that's really cool and then you can you know keep working with this now the difference between this tool and hard ops is that hard ops actually uses verts to do it so if i'm going to go with a macro you can see that the verts are selected so now if i wanted to scale this you know i kind of can't you see it's just not happening whereas with the uh, with the blender thing so uh, again i hold control and move in and out um, I can actually scale this because um, it's insetting faces, uh, so it's a little bit quicker. I don't have to reselect this uh, edge. So if you want to scale them, maybe Blender uh, Vanilla is actually faster this way. So maybe less troublesome because you don't have to select it again. Anyway, guys, that's I think would be it for for inset and outset. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and sub if you did. Links to hard ups and box cutter in the video description. So if you want to buy them go through the links you're gonna help me as well sub to the channel if you enjoyed the video thanks for watching catch you next one